Well, today's video is late. A day late. I'm starting to do a sort of Jenna Marbles thing where instead of, you know, Sunday, it's becoming Sunday slash Monday. Um, anyway, the video is late because it's tied to something that I've been procrastinating on for a couple of months now, basically since before quarantine started, back when our wedding was still going to happen in August. Um, and as a whole, I'm a pretty organized person. I've shown you like my planner, where I plan my whole life out, I've shown you some of my templates that I use for wedding planning, keep everything organized. As a whole, I mean, our apartment's, you know, pretty tidy. It's not that much stuff around, you know, my workstation over there. So it's, we're not messy people. It's just that there's this one messy thing that we've just been calling the wedding pile. Oh God. So today I'm gonna tackle the wedding pile. We live in a pretty small one bedroom apartment. It's just me and Kenny. Our bedroom's down that hallway with the bathroom. Our kitchen is over here through that window. We don't really have a lot of storage. We have a couple closets, but nothing to handle that. So as things started coming in for the wedding, you know, favors, signage, decor, it started small. It started just as a, a thing in the corner, but then anytime we got anything else for the wedding, we added it onto the pile. And then anytime we got anything that we couldn't find a place for it, like this box of things from my grandmother's house that we just cleaned out, it just started growing and I've hit my breaking point and it's time to tackle it. And I just figured most of it's wedding crap. I think most brides have at least like a wedding corner or like a wedding closet where they put wedding things. We just don't have the closet part, so it's here. So you probably have something similar, I hope, in your house. I really hope it would make me feel a lot better if other people have this pile somewhere too. Um, but I need to go through some of these boxes. A lot of them are just empty boxes and I'm like, well, I might need this someday for the wedding pile. And it's just, I'm ready to tackle it. So I'm just gonna bring you along with me and we'll see what happens. start by putting things into categories like kitchen things and wedding things and need to find a home for them things. The other thing I really want to do is inventory everything I have because I'm not even sure I know everything that's over here. Some of it's like bachelorette stuff for my friends whose bachelorette parties I help plan. Some of it's stuff for my own wedding. I got a document. So these are a bunch of gold frames that I got from my grandmother and grandfather's house. My grandfather just recently passed away um, and my grandmother passed away um, a year and a half ago. So we had to clean out her house um, and my aunts and uncles generally let me take, generously let me take a bunch of these frames so that I wouldn't have to buy any for our um, wedding. So she had a bunch of gold frames that I took that we're going to use for a missing you table where we'll have pictures of our departed loved ones, um, as well as for a memory table of pictures of Kenny and I, because we've been together for 10 years. So I want to put like some pictures of us at like prom and when we were younger, that kind of stuff out too. So now I have tons of these guys to use, which is great, including this big one that my mom didn't want from my mom and dad's wedding, um, just because they already have framed pictures of all of their wedding. So I think I'm gonna use this for like pictures of Kenny and I, and then all of these bad boys for um, departed loved ones. And then, see, I already forgot. Um, I have silver ones too that were at my babshi's, but I don't even need to change these because they are pictures from her wedding. So I just got to take these as is that I can use for my table to remember them by. So this is the last thing that I got from my Bobshi and Poppy's house. Um, and it's actually really, really special because I don't know if I've said this on camera yet or not, but the church where Kenny and I are getting married is a family church. And 
I will be the fifth generation on my mom's side of the family to get married there. So my mom got married there, my mom, she got married there, her mother, grandmother, great-grandmother. Um, so this is a plate that they actually have of the church where they got married and where my mom got married and then where Kenny and I are getting married. So I don't think that I'm gonna like display this for the wedding, this is more just a keepsake that I wanted to have. These are some baskets that I got for free off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, I'm in a group called Buy None, Sell None for my area where it's not people who wanna sell things, it's just people who wanna give things away. So usually they'll just, you know, after you claim it, they'll leave it on their front porch and go by and pick it up. So we got these baskets to put our favors in. We're gonna do koozies as our wedding favors so that we can have these out in two different places at the reception for people to grab a koozie to use for the night. And we're doing Slim Fit, that'll fit seltzer cans as well as bottles and then traditional for the wider cans. But I was excited because these were free and I didn't have any baskets to use. So adding those to the wedding thing pile. So there's not much I can do about this box. It's probably just gonna have to stay over here somewhere um, until I figure out what I'm gonna do with it. But it is unfortunately our stationary box. We ordered our wedding invitations probably like three weeks too early. I ordered them, probably not even that, like like two weeks before quarantine started, I ordered them. Um, and if quarantine had started, maybe I would have waited just to make sure that we were in the clear. Um, but we spent a lot of money on our invites already because we got not only our wedding suite invitations, which included the invite, the RSVP, RSVP card, and the details card, but we also got rehearsal dinner invitations. I got thank yous for my bridal shower. And then we got additional thank yous customized for our wedding that had our wedding date on them. Um, so the only thing that can be used because it didn't have a date on them were the RSVP cards because I'm going to keep the same RSVP date for next year so we can keep those. And um, my bridal shower thank yous. Everything else had a date on it. So I think the plan for now is just to keep this here locked away out of sight where it can't hurt my feelings. <sighs> yeah, we'll just, you can just stay like that. Okay, these are some table numbers that my mom picked up for us um, just because she knew our color scheme and she'd seen our invitation suite before. And this is pretty similar. Um, we hadn't decided if we're gonna go with these or another set of table numbers that a friend gave us after they were done with their wedding. Um, but I just found them on the floor over there. So clearly it's good that I'm going through this because if we're gonna use these, these are important and I don't wanna lose them. So, so I bought a lot of clothes over the last year for my shower, my bachelorette, rehearsal dinner. Um, and they were in like a nice folded pile over here at one point for me to just pick up and grab when it was time to pack for my bachelorette party. Then everything got postponed and then as I started digging through the stuff whenever I needed something, this box kind of just became like the clothes box. So I need to go through some of these uh, clothing items here and hang them up appropriately where they'll probably stay for the next year until I get a chance to wear them. I honestly couldn't even tell you why it's over here. It's supposed to be in her closet. This has all of our like weird wigs and costumes and stuff from Halloween's past. There's like a Grinch suit in here and a lion's wig, all that good stuff. I have no idea why it was over here in the first place. So I'm going to go put it back in our storage closet where it belongs. Okay, so we've made a little bit of a dent. We at least got rid of this section and I've started categorizing. So I guess I'll just fill you in. Over here is wedding items, which are, haven't been that many so far, but most of that is more wedding stuff. So we have wedding items, um, the stationary box, and then these are empty boxes that I can use to start piling some of this stuff in when I get to that point. Over here I have kitchen items. I need to figure out where we're gonna store our Instapot. We actually had a group of friends, not a group of friends, a pair of friends um, who 
bought us this Instapot off of our registry when we postponed just to say like, we're sorry that you have to wait another year, which we thought was really, really sweet. Um, just need to figure out where we're gonna put it. <laughs> we did register for a lot of stuff because we planned on buying a house right after the wedding. Um, we were supposed to get married in August and we were hoping that we would be in a new home by December. Our lease was up in November. Um, so I registered for a lot of stuff thinking that we would have a house to move it to not long after the wedding. And now we're gonna be in this one bedroom apartment for a year and I'm just accumulating way more junk than I planned on. Anyway, kitchen items I need to find a home for in our kitchen. Um, some Christmas items that got in there that need to get um, put in our storage closet over there along with like a gift bag that I can put in with the rest of our bag items. Recycling, then I'm gonna take out things that need a home. A lot of office items that got shoved over there when quarantine started because this is the only desk we have in our apartment. So my fiance had to clean a lot of it off when quarantine started. So a lot of the things that we used to be on the desk got put over there. So we need to find a home for all of this stuff. Um, same with that stuff over there. Those were Christmas presents, prints and stuff that I got for Christmas that I still haven't found a home for. And then these are Kenny's items that he needs to find a home for. Um, some of it may go back in the corner. I just want it to be more tidy and organized looking. We also want to eventually buy um, some storage closets from Ikea maybe that we can put over there on that wall just to hide. So the insanity, since we are gonna be here for another year, it was one thing when I only had to put up with that pile until August, but it's getting a little out of hand. I also just realized there are some things in this pile that I'm not gonna be able to show you because some of them are favors for my bridesmaids, um, for my bachelorette and for the wedding day. So some of them are gifts for all the girls coming on my bachelorette party, whether they're bridesmaids or not, so I can't really show that. And some of it are gifts for my bridesmaids for the wedding day. So I might have to cut some of it out, but. We're making progress. I'm ready to dive into layer two. This was a super cute pillow that my aunt got me when we got engaged. Um, and we used to have it out on the couch, but then we put it away for a party and it never got brought back out. So I'm gonna go put it on our futon now. So this box has a bunch of little plastic champagne glasses that say I said yes on them, which are super cute. Um, my aunt gave them to me after my cousin's bridal shower. Um, but I'm not planning any bridal showers anytime soon, and there's not that many, so I think these might be one that I put on um, Facebook Marketplace to see if anyone else wants them for something, so they don't go to waste. So, I think that's what I'm going to do with these bad boys. This is actually really sweet. Um, this was a sign that um, my cousin used at their wedding, and so my aunt asked if I wanted to use it as well. So we'll put it somewhere during our cocktail hour, probably, because we don't have a lot of room for signage at church. So, but some something else that needs to be in this pile for another year, over another year, 390 days to be exact. So this box is another important one. Um, a good friend of ours, my maid of honor's cousin, who I've gotten close to over the last couple of years um, because Kenny and I sang the mass at her wedding. They're invited to our wedding as well. Um, and she lent these terrariums to another good friend of ours for their wedding and is now lending them to Kenny and I, um, which is really, really nice. So there are these sweet little terrariums. There's a bunch of different shapes and sizes and then there's fairy lights in them. Um, we're not using these for all of our centerpieces, but we are going to use them for our head tables. Because our head tables are going to be long and they'll have garlands through them. Um, and then we're going to use those to sort of spruce them up. Um, put some candles in there, just here and there along the, um, along the runner. So, I don't really need to get all the way into that box because that's all this box is. I know that they're in there. I know how many are in there because I did account the very first time I got them of all the sizes that I had. So this box is just probably gonna stay as is. Oh, there's shoes back there. Those are slides for my bachelorette party. They're probably dirty now. Don't do this. Don't. I'm, I promise I'm organized in every other way, just not, just not that. Okay, so something really sweet um, that I just wanted to share with you guys because this is such a great gift idea. Um, anyone in your family is maybe having a baby soon. This is something that my babshi gave to my mom and me when I was first born. 
Um, it's called the Magic Hanky, and I'll just read you the story real quick. I am a linen hanky, as beautiful as can be, and with a tuck, a stitch or two, a bonnet was made from me to wear home from the hospital or on the christening day, and then I will be tucked away to await the wedding day. And on her wedding day, a hanky I will be, for every bride needs something old, that something will be me. And if the baby is a boy and someday he should marry, he can give his lovely bride a hanky she can carry. So it's still in bonnet form from when I was a baby. Um, so before my wedding, I'll cut the stitches and it will be my something old. And I just think it's the coolest, sweetest thing, especially since my bob, she gave it to me and she can't be there on my wedding day. So just thought I'd share that. This is going somewhere in safekeeping until wedding day next year. This is like one of the sweetest gifts we got when we got engaged. It's a picnic set. So there's an insulated bag in here for food, wine, champagne, and then the plates and the cups and the cutlery all zipper out. I just think that's like the smartest thing ever. There's like salt and pepper shakers in there too, so we need to find the time to make use of this because we haven't used it since we got engaged, so that's on my to-do list. And more shoes. Um, these were, again, supposed to be bachelorette shoes. Um, I was gonna wear these with like my white lacy dress whenever night we went out and hit the town. And then these were like a little more comfortable ones that I could wear with more casual stuff like a jumpsuit or a sundress. So I'm gonna go put these with the rest of my clothes in my room for safekeeping. All right, we're making progress. Just this last little bit to get through and then I just need to organize all the wedding stuff and then find homes for everything else, so. Baby steps. Again, more table numbers to choose from. Table numbers that got passed down to us. We have many options now. <laughs> this is a frame. It's been sitting here um, probably since it was gifted to us when we got engaged. So now I kind of want to find a place for it in our apartment. Um, I don't know if I just forgot about this or if it just got lumped into the pile. Um, or maybe I'll just keep it as is so that we can use it um, on our photo table at the wedding. I'm sure, but cute gift from a friend of ours that I found in the pile. This next one is such a bummer because it's something with our old date on it that I'm now going to have to replace. Let me see if I can take it out for you. So this was going to be our card box. Um, we were just gonna have it open and people could put cards in there or around it on our gift table. Um, and it says boy, it's hard to see with the glare, um, but it says boy established 2020, which now obviously is no longer the case. Um, and I'm really bummed because I wanted to use it um, also to display my bouquet after the wedding. Um, I wanted to use it as like a memory box. So I was gonna put my bouquet in here, um, along with maybe like our ring box, my hanky, Anything that you know we used on our wedding day that was gonna stay in there. I'm getting charms for my bouquet. Um, that could have gone in there. So like I wanted to double use it um, as our card box, but then also as like a memory box. So I guess, I guess now I throw it out. It has the wrong date on it. I'm gonna have to buy more. I have to buy something else. I guess I throw it out. I can't really use it. Hmm. It's a bummer. We're back to our clothes. Going to the clothes pile in my room. So this is the lovely bachelorette box. Um, complete with some glow of men and banners and stuff. Yes, I think I need to actually sit down and go through it because it's kind of a mess. It's just chock full of things um, from the last bachelorette party I went to back in February for a wedding that got postponed a year. Ugh, all right, but I'm gonna sit through and go through this bad boy. Well, that took forever to take care of all those banners. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna sweep the um, phallic confetti up off of my floor now that came out while I was uh, doing that. All right, so that took care of the bachelorette box. Now I just need to get through this final corner, which is pretty much all wedding things, because that's how the pile started. <laughs> so that grew into all of this. So I really just need to get through that stuff. And then I just need to find out how I'm storing all of this. Can't wait. frame 
passed down to us by um, my cousin's wife when they got married. Um, she used it as her bridal shower with like pictures of her when she was little, so this little lady's getting married. I think I'm gonna swap it out um, for either our unplugged ceremony sign or for like a welcome sign um, and the other wide piece that goes in it. But I am holding on to this beautiful frame for obvious reasons. It's getting harder and harder to walk over to the camera. So um, I just wanted to show you what's in this bag. So these are Mr. and Mrs. signs um, that were passed down to us. My friends that got married last year. They're really nice in the white, but I think I'm going to spray paint them gold and then add some glitter touches to them. Um, or maybe just keep them gold, not sure, but they're gonna go on our sweetheart table. These are more table numbers. We're gonna have so many to choose from. Um, but yeah, more table numbers that were passed down to us. Camera battery died, so took a little, much needed break. Break, made some iced coffee. And I think I'm ready to start organizing all this stuff and putting it back. So a few things I didn't get to show you before my camera died. All of these were engagement gifts. Um, these are some personalized um, like snow globe and frame Disney theme that we got when we got engaged. This is a frame um, for our portraits for after our wedding. This is personalized, um, a personalized cutting set for cutting our cake. And these are some Linux um, champagne glasses that we're gonna use as our toasting plates. And I have some tea lights and I have some of these, um, the like gold mercury stained tea holders for, um, or tea candle holders that we'll use um, on our head tables. And then I got a bunch of these things here. We went through all of that stuff already, but this is a nice little bride clutch that a friend got me when we got engaged and I'll use for all my bits and bobs on our wedding day. This is a little like emergency kit. It has like a sewing kit in there. Um, you know, things you need in case of an emergency. Yeah, our tasting forks for after we cut our cake. A happy tears hanky that I can use on our wedding day. Mr. and Mrs. signs that we're gonna hang on the back of our chairs, I think. And then some more frames that were gifted to me after my friend's wedding. So, that's everything. Now I just need to put it all back in a way that hopefully is less chaotic than it was before, using all of these boxes. Um, and then hopefully eventually, we can buy some closets to go here to hide the insanity until next August, so. Let's see how the putting back process goes. good. It's still a lot of stuff. Um, but there's nowhere else I can really put this stuff. But this is just wedding stuff. At least I got rid of all the other stuff. And this is a bit organized. And I'm sure as you saw, as I was putting things back, I made a note in my phone of everything that's here and which bin it's stored in. So that as I start preparing for the day next year, if I need to go through find something or craft something and I need something in here if I'm planning a shower or a bachelorette I at least know where it all is so it doesn't take up quite as much space as before I got rid of um, everything that was along the sides here that's just trash now I just need to take care of all of this other stuff figure out if we have room for it well, I'll spare, spare you the, um, the boring part of finding a home for everything else out here, um, but at least I got the wedding stuff done. So I'm going to leave you guys with that for today. Um, I don't know if this was completely boring. I don't know if you like organizational stuff. I know I love it. Um, I love watching videos like this, so I figured I would just make it. 
this isn't your style, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully you at least got some ideas of some of the stuff that I'm using, some of the things that I'm DIYing over the next year, uh, just sort of get an idea of where we are in the whole process. So that being said, I'm gonna go try to edit this monster video so I can get it to you, hopefully by the end of the day on Monday. <laughs> and I will see you guys next week. I put up new videos here on my channel, Amy Forever After, every single Sunday slash Monday, it's starting to become. Um, so if you like my videos, like, subscribe, comment. I sound so cheesy saying that. Um, and then just check back in the future in case I cover a topic that's more relevant to you. Anyway, have a great week and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.